Hello everyone, welcome to Coder and Boots. So in this video, we are going to discuss about Python Boto3. So Boto3 is a very uh, popular Python package, which is basically the uh, AWS SDK for Python. Uh, and it is kind of uh, used by most of the developers who, uh, who interact with uh, AWS or for automating AWS uh, services. Okay, so uh, whatever we are seeing in the AWS console, right? So the services like EC2, S3, RDS, uh, it's not just limited to those. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, all the the complete AWS services are available uh, in, in Boto3. So you will be able to manage, okay, and uh, automate the services using Boto3. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you the, the overview of this uh, one is this is an AWS package. Okay, so this is managed by AWS and maintained by AWS. It's not like maintained by a third party so that uh, any new updates in the AWS, what you see, that same updates will be available in the Boto3 as well. So your code won't break. Okay, second thing is it has a, a very good coverage. So that means uh, every service that you see in the AWS, uh, you will be able to interact the same, interact with the same using the Boto3 because that uh, the implementation for uh, the same services will be available inside the Boto3 as well. And one more thing, this is uh, Boto3 is for Python. So the SDKs are available for Java, Ruby and other languages. So that is available in the AWS website. Uh, okay, <clears throat> so some more details I'll provide. So this is a, as I explained, this is a Python package uh, and the package is present in uh, the PyPy repository. So that means you can simply install it using pip install uh, Boto3 and uh, then the complete documentation as uh, similar to AWS uh, services. Uh, the, the documentation on uh, for Boto3 is very good. Uh, so uh, the AWS documentation, it is kind of commendable one because uh, it is very well explained. You don't really need uh, an external person to support in understanding about that service. Because if you have patience, you read the documentation uh, without any confusion, uh, you will get the concepts uh, cleared. Okay, the same is there with Boto3 as well, because uh, I have used this Boto3 extensively, uh, not just for simple services or the general services. I have used it for uh, a lot of services within AWS and I have been using uh, this package since 10 years. Okay, so uh, I have good experience with this package and uh, I recommend this package as well because uh, uh, this is one of the best maintained package. Okay, and I have not encountered much issues with this package. Then, uh, as I explained, the installation step is very easy. So you can just do pip install boto3. So it will, uh, sorry, it's pip install boto3. So this will install the, the package. So it will just download the package first and then install. So as it is Python package, you don't really need to uh, like uh, worry about a uh, lot of dependencies or anything. So just doing pip install boto3 will take care of the installation. And this works well in Windows, Linux, uh, Mac OS and all, almost all the popular operating systems. This works very well. Okay. And uh, the way it works is uh, you have the code and it basically like you don't really need to run it from the AWS. You can run it from outside as well. Okay. So uh, you can run, you can develop the code using the AWS SDK. That means Boto3 and you can deploy it in your server, laptop, uh, data center, wherever you want. Okay. Does, it doesn't need to be AWS and you need to authenticate with AWS cloud. Okay. And the SDK will uh, interact with AWS cloud using APIs. The reason for SDK, SDK means uh, software development kit. So the reason for this SDK is it will give a high level uh, interface for the developers. So instead of like, I'm mean, interacting with the underlying Rust APIs, you will get some useful functions, uh, some user friendly functions so that the developers can easily make uh, or call those functions and then get uh, get the interactions working. Okay. Oh, there are multiple several ways to authenticate with AWS. So those are using uh, the access keys, right? Then uh, there is other way using session token, uh, then uh, other way like using IAM roles. So depending upon your use case, you can select one of these uh, options and authenticate. Okay, so that is what will establish the authenticity between your uh, your code and then the cloud service. Once it is authenticated, then uh, the code will function based on the privilege that you have because the credentials will have a privilege. Uh, so because you usually will not generate the credentials from the root user, we'll be creating it from an IAM user. So whatever permission the IAM user has, the credential also will be having it. And then 
based on the permission uh, whatever we have defined in the the functionalities that we have written inside the code will work okay so the sim functionality is very simple so i'll i'll be uh, starting a new series on this uh, aws uh, boto 3 so i'll uh, demonstrate uh, the ways of automating aws services using boto 3 like one by one so stay tuned so i'll explain more about this so this is just uh, more of an introductory kind of video so that uh, you will get an overview of what this boto 3 is uh, okay so if you have any questions feel free to comment below this video and if you are interested to uh, know more about boto 3 stay tuned so i'll be publishing more videos thank you very much for watching this video